this week on the internet is a series where I talk about all the topics I missed during the week. And first up, we have Apple. Apparently, working on robots for your house. This report comes from Mark Gurman. And Mark Gurman is pretty well known for having fairly accurate leaks about Apple. For the last couple of years, he's been about 86% accurate, so this is probably true. It also makes sense because Apple recently scrapped the idea of an Apple car. And a lot of the research and development they would have done for a driverless car would transfer over to a robot that does stuff in your house. The idea of having a robot do all the chores you don't want to do has been something society has been chasing forever. I know back in the 80s and 90s, they thought we'd have it by now but it turns out making a robot that can do an array of different tasks is really hard especially if it's bipedal it's really hard to make a robot that looks like a person and can do things a person can because evolution has made us really complicated if apple releases this robot anytime soon it will not be humanoid which is probably good because we as a society should just make robots that work like robots robots could have way more functionality if we just dropped this idea of them walking on two legs and also in apple news the app store has started to allow game emulators the reason for this is because apple's ongoing loss suit with the DOJ. It seems they're trying to get ahead of the curve and regulate themselves before the DOJ forces them to allow third-party app stores on the iPhone, because the EU has already forced them to do that. Apple also recently allowed the Xbox Cloud Gaming app and the GeForce Now app back onto the app store. And Apple finally opening up their ecosystem is why monopolies are bad. The only reason they're doing all this is because they're getting sued. And if a company gets sued for being a monopoly, people should just let it happen. The amount of people I've been seeing defend Apple in relation to this DOJ lawsuit is insane. They haven't even finished the lawsuit, and there's already a bunch of benefits from it and apple makes good products don't get me wrong but the way they do business is kind of like the mafia the fact that they're doing all of this after they got sued for violating antitrust laws is pretty telling and next up we have something cool that sony decided to do on select ps5 games sony is introducing a community help mechanic this mechanic will allow you to record a small tutorial for a game and sony will review the clip and if it's approved it will become a little guide for players if they need it i think this is a pretty cool feature because sometimes you just get stuck in a really dumb area and you know you shouldn't be stuck but you are stuck and you don't want to look it up online and then you spend way too much time trying to figure it out yourself so you eventually cave and just look it up online so hopefully this feature will help people avoid experiencing that next up we have the open ai voice synthesizer they can copy a voice with 15 seconds of audio i'm against this pretty much entirely i've said it before but when i listen to things i want to hear an actual person's voice if i find out at any point i'm watching something or listening to something with ai voices i click off of it and never go back but open ai is not that impressive here if i'm being honest there is already an open source ai voice cloning tool that does the same thing at pretty much the same level open AI says they might never make theirs public, but it doesn't really matter because the open source one already exists. They're kind of flexing nothing here. And speaking of OpenAI, YouTube has warned OpenAI that using videos on YouTube to train Sora, the AI video generator, is against YouTube policy. This makes total sense, and I am pretty sure OpenAI has already broke every website's policy and potentially laws on collecting data to train their AI models. The New York Times is already suing OpenAI for using their articles as training data, and honestly, good for them. It's kind of messed up to train on their data illegally and then phase out their jobs with the AI they trained the data on. But even if OpenAI gets sued into oblivion, this kind of AI will stick around in some shape or form because there are already open source versions of all of this floating around everywhere. But I do think OpenAI is a ticking time bomb because all the data has been gathered in very questionable ways to say the least. I don't see a world where all the industries being threatened by OpenAI's existence don't sue them into the ground as soon as they can. And it's not like they have to wait for someone at OpenAI to slip up and say they use someone's data. ChatGPT will probably just say it at some point. ChatGPT is really bad at keeping secrets. There are numerous occasions of ChatGPT getting fed proprietary code for a big company and then just spitting that code back out to random people who ask for it. And the last bit of news involving AI is Amazon not really using as much AI as they led everyone to believe. Remember those cashierless stores Amazon wanted to do a while ago where you can just walk in and grab an item and go? Well, they had a few of those, but they're shutting most of them down because they can't afford to keep paying overseas workers to watch the cameras and see what you took from the store. This is pretty creepy because Amazon never mentioned the small army of people working with the AI algorithms to tally up what you bought at this store. And even though it is creepy, it does make sense because all these AI tools are just machine learning algorithms. They're not really AI. They need human input to correct themselves and avoid making mistakes in the future. But it is insanely creepy that no one knew because it's not like Amazon was clear about this fact. That's why everyone's pissed. And I am also not a fan of people being paid pennies on the dollar to sit and stare at a camera to train a robot. It is just really dystopian and I'm not a fan. So I hope we leave this idea behind us until we actually have smart robots that can do it. And next up we have self-checkout stations in Walmart potentially being a subscription service. If you pay for this, and I mean this, I hope you rot in hell. This is insane. Why should I have to pay Walmart 
to do the work for them. In theory, I'm already saving Walmart money by using this stupid machine to begin with. But I guess too many people were stealing using these machines because I feel like it's easier to steal with these machines than just buying stuff outright. If you try and check out like a normal person, there's like a 50% chance the machine just doesn't like something you're doing and it freaks out on you. But it is insane to pay for the ability to use this stupid machine. I hope Walmart goes bankrupt. And speaking of potential bankruptcies, we have Twitter. Recently, Fidelity, an investment company, has cut their stake in Twitter, signaling Twitter has had a 73% decline in value since Elon Musk took over, which is about what I would expect because Elon Musk has no idea what he's doing about anything ever. In the case of Twitter, he just tweets dumb things and insists that real user traffic is up. But everyone who's left on the platform just knows they're bots. Real people who use Twitter have been plummeting. And Twitter has to make more money or it will actually go bankrupt because Elon Musk has to pay a lot of interest on his loan to buy Twitter. And it's actually looking really bad for that website. Another way you can tell it's looking really bad is Elon Musk spontaneously tweeting Tesla Robo Taxi unveil on 8-8. And I am promising you right now, this will be nothing. This will be a demo at best and it will never actually be released because he does this all the time he's been lying about this for years this time will be no different because arguably the software for full self-driving has only gotten worse and this is also a really stupid move because to do this tesla has scrapped all their plans for a model 2 and the model 2 would have been a small electric car for twenty five thousand dollars. that is actually a good idea that would have made tesla worth more so obviously elon musk couldn't do that how else would he tank the stock and next up we have the mcdonald's remix that's just combined menu items on a different menu this is pretty goofy and the only reason i'm bringing it up is because it's just kind of dumb make something new mcdonald's like this is kind of pathetic and next up we have disney plus going through with their password crackdown so if you guys remember a while ago netflix tried password sharing crackdowns and it worked unfortunately and since it worked everyone else is gonna try it now i'm really hoping this doesn't work out for disney because i don't think disney needs any more money but since it worked with netflix it's probably gonna also work for disney and personally i think i'm just gonna get on my pirate ship and uh, do, do things that way especially since hulu disney and netflix might have a combined app thing which is just tv we already had it. We got rid of it. Let's not bring it back, please. But I highly encourage you to check your subscriptions and cancel ones you don't use because the less free money these companies get, the more desperate they'll get. And when they get more desperate, they lower prices and actually do things that are good for the consumer. So what I'm basically saying is, is you want Disney, Netflix, Hulu, whatever. You want them all to bring a bankruptcy constantly. Make them suffer. All right, next up, we have a garbage bag thief and not someone who steals garbage bags, but someone who dressed up as a garbage bag and stole someone's package as a garbage bag. I don't think stealing people's packages is okay or a right thing to do, but I do think doing it as a garbage bag is at least funny so i just wanted to share that with you that's pretty much the whole thing a guy stole a package as a garbage bag that's the that's the whole news story and next up we have something that's just interesting there's an eclipse happening on monday the 8th of april if you are in this zone of this map you can see the eclipse but make sure you have eclipse glasses if you want to look at it i didn't know this but apparently it's kind of common for people to assume you don't need eclipse glasses and you do if you don't use eclipse glasses there is a very high chance you are going to go blind or at the very least have vision damage for the rest of your life and if you need to drive to a place to go see it i highly recommend finding somewhere where people wouldn't go because all the airbnbs within the eclipse zone are booked so driving and traveling in general is probably going to be pretty annoying on monday but if the eclipse is happening where you live i highly recommend just looking at it it's a cool thing you don't get a chance to see very often and i know it's a meme that it's like oh these happen once every 20 years or whatever but if it's happening where you live like where your place of residence is that's not common that's not going to happen again for a while you'll probably be dead so if it's happening where you live i recommend checking it out but what do you think let me know in the comments down below like subscribe new following twitter ads buttons one click the answer to check out more of my content and have a good one